Hi, I'm Esther. Welcome to day three of our 10 days calming Pilates journey when we're practicing flowing movements and harmonizing with our breathing. A few minutes each day could make a huge difference in terms of reducing stress, tension and energizing our body. So let's begin in kneeling. To comfort yourself, you can place a pillow underneath your knees, underneath your pelvis to raise the position a little bit higher. You can keep your toes tucked under or lower and extend your feet, whatever it feels comfortable for you. To find your center, place both hands at your lower tummy muscles and take a deep inhalation. If you wish, you can even close your eyes and as you exhale, engage your core, engage your pelvic floor muscles. Feel a little hardening, a little core and muscle activation underneath your palms. Take a deep inhalation again. And a long exhalation, engaging your lower tummy muscles in between your hip bones. One more deep inhalation. Long exhalation, engaging your core, find your center where your strength and stability is coming from. Then open your eyes and then reach forward towards the short edge of your mat and then place yourself in an all fours position, slightly moving your hands further forward than your shoulders. Release your feet and then shift your weight back over your heels into child position. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. With the next inhalation, keep the length of your spine and pull yourself up into all fours. And then shift your weight back into child position. Press both hands into your mat. Feel your tummy muscles activating as you pull yourself back up into all fours. And then child again. Inhale, forward, and exhale, backwards. Keep your back parallel to the mat, and then shift your weight back again. Then hold that all fours position once you get there. Cross your right arm over your left wrist, and then shift your weight back into child position. Forward again into all fours, and cross your arm. And then repeat it on the other side. Left hand is moving over your right. And then back to the center. Nice shift. Backwards, lengthening your right side. Crossing your left arm, lengthening your left side of your torso. Move back to all fours again, hold that position and then curl your back up towards the ceiling and arch your back. Curl again, inhale and exhale, arch your back within your comfortable pain-free range, curl and then arch. Then one more time, run your back up towards the ceiling and shift your weight back over your heels. Open your chest, look in between your palms and then pull yourself back up into all fours. Then curl and shift your weight back. Imagine your spine as a wave. Moving forward, backwards and up and down. Backwards. Rounding and stretching forward, extending. Higher up, lower down, slightly forward. Let's do one more, this nice circle movement. Then hold that all fours position. Once you get there, find your neutral umbo spine position, not to arch, not to curve, somewhere in between the middle. Hold that box shape of your body and then slide your right hand forward and move back up. The left hand forward and move back up. Make sure that your wrist is happy in this position. You might need to double your mat slightly to elevate your wrist or perhaps practice this exercise on your forearms. 
Reach forward and lower your chest slightly, keeping your back nice and straight. And then if you feel that you're stable enough, you can join the opposite leg that is moving. So right arm, reaching forward, left leg, reaching backwards. Same on the other side. Or to challenge your balance further, you can even elevate your heel and then lengthen backwards and upwards away from your hip in a line of your spine. Okay. Right arm, left leg reaching forward and backwards, then engage your core. Pivot back into parallel position, then curl your back. Move your elbow and knee underneath your tummy. Then reach forward and backwards, or perhaps that tilted position. Curl again. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Repeat this movement a few more times. Making sure that you keep your hips and your chest parallel to the floor. Reach and then release. Move your hands slightly further forward and tuck your toes under. Engage your core. Take a deep inhalation and as you exhale, engage your lower tummy muscles and then float your knees up a little bit, just above your mat, about an inch or so, and then release down. Inhale and exhale, floating up. Tiny, tiny bit, holding that box shape of your body and release. You're going to have two more of that. One more time. Exhale. And then inhale, lower. Brilliant. Let's extend your feet. Find your center again. If you wish, you can run arch your back. Engaging your core and then sliding your left hand forward, the right leg backwards on the ground or elevating your foot away from your mat and then pivot back, arch and curl your back, moving your knee and your elbow underneath your chest, curling your back reaching forward and backwards. You don't need to reach very high up. Imagine lengthening your spine, moving your fingertips and toes or heel away from each other. Reach. And then one more time. Then release down. Tuck your toes again underneath. Then move your hands a little bit further forward. You can practice the same knee elevation as we practiced before, or from this position, you can shift your weight forward into a push-up position, backwards and lowering down. Inhale, exhale forward or slightly up. Inhale back. Exhale either up, holding that box shape of your body or moving forward diagonally. Very good. One more. From this position, push your bum back up towards the ceiling into downward facing dog. Hold that position, bend your left knee, peeling your left heel away and then change the position of your legs lowering your left heel and then your right heel. Imagine kind of like a marching movement, extending and lengthening the back of your leg, stretching the muscles around your calf, around your hamstrings. If you feel it's a nice stretch, you can even hold that position for a little bit each side and then raise both heels Lower your knees at a controlled manner, 
relax your feet down and then shift your weight back over your heels. Release your elbows, bend down and then place your wrist underneath your forehead. Take a few deep breaths in this position and enjoy your well-deserved rest. Try to release with every exhalation. If you wish, you can hold this position for a little longer. Rest and enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you tomorrow.